in September of 2001. Uh, I, had, I had graduated from uh, Sun Prairie High School in 2000. Uh, I had gone to, to school at UW Oshkosh for a, a little over a semester, decided college wasn't for me. Uh, I, I wasn't really interested in so I wanted to go out on my own. Uh, so I had done that. Uh, I'd also moved down to Northwest Arkansas. I was working for Walmart, who I had worked for through, uh, through high school, and I was continuing on employment with them. And um, n no real plan of, of where I was, what I was going to do in life or which direction my career or, or life was going to head um, and until the attacks had happened. In going to war, uh, looking at historical events in the past, say like December 7, 1941, the attacks on Pearl Harbor, uh, there was a need to mobilize uh, the, the troops. And I remember growing up, I'd always wondered uh, had the, if the time were ever to come in my lifetime, would I be able to answer that call? Uh, so I, I felt that this was the call. Uh, you know, and it was time for me to either uh, step up or, or not. Uh, so that's what led me to the decision uh, to, to join. Like I said, I, I originally tried joining a different service uh, and, and was rejected, but I wasn't going to let that stop me because I, I still thought that uh, country needed my service and that we were going to be going to war and we were going to need troops to, to, to go into this. So I found a, a, an alternative avenue, which led me to the Air Force. Uh, yes, it was challenging. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of my service. I'm very proud of the people I served with, uh, the, the levels of camaraderie and the... Um, the uh, the bonds that I created with the, the people I'd serve with are tremendous, uh, in, in in some ways closer than in some familial relationships that I have. So, uh, you know that that was I, I think I expected something like that. I expect to be challenged, expect to have a, a, a level of discipline uh, that that goes along with it. Um, things I didn't expect I I didn't expect um, how that process would change me. Uh, and for the better, uh, I think I, going through the process, I, I came out a better person than when I went in. Um, the, the ability to, to pay attention to detail, have that discipline, um, focus on, on uh, jobs and objectives, and whether it's in a military aspect or, or somewhere in the civilian life, um, you know, and I, I was able to translate those skills going to school and focus on my mission of graduating and, uh, and, and doing, taking those steps that, that need to happen to, to accomplish those tasks. And I directly attribute that to the, the, uh, the trained discipline I got through the military. 2011, uh, well, I graduated from University of Wisconsin in uh, December of 2010. Uh, shortly thereafter, moved out to uh, Las Vegas, where I was originally stationed with my, my wife of uh, nine years now, uh, Melanie. Uh, working as a, a program manager with Student Veterans of America. Uh, I, it was an organization I started getting volunteered with. Uh, while I was a student in, in class uh, here at the UW and then transferred that in, into paid employment afterwards. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm working on helping other veterans uh, navigate the, the higher education process and get transitioned into, um, uh, in, into the civilian world and into uh, obtain their education credentials and then move on to, uh, to hopefully a successful civilian transition and, and be productive members of society.